4.56 in the a.m. on a Friday, and my charter don't even show up till 7. Alrighty, it is Friday morning, I believe it's the 10th of August, and it is the first day of the opening of Red Snapper in Jacksonville, Florida. It is 5 a.m. I'm climbing in the boat because I forgot to turn on my damn uh, power switch. I'm at the boat ramp early for the sheer fact let's see here for the sheer fact that I don't want to deal with the bullshit because of course what do I have I've got two guys today and um, this weekend's gonna be even worse Saturday and Sunday I'm sure tomorrow it's gonna be real bad blowing pretty hard here out of the out of the west of course I'm not doing any snapper fishing but um, I'm here early sorry for the darkness but my day starts in the pitch black dark I know you can't see much. The old GoPro Hero 4 Sessions is in operation. Not the greatest low light camera. So, I'm here early because I don't want to deal with any bullshit. Get the water, get the boat in the water. <coughs> Finish my coffee and sit and rig up some lines. So, uh, I don't know what we're gonna do today, but I'm gonna be, pre I'm pretty much prepared for about anything. I doubt I'll be running out for snapper. You know, if you don't make things your backyard, I'm just uncomfortable with it. I don't make it my backyard. So, alright. Let's get the old Jetty Wolf in the water. That's called dedication, folks. Or that's called, I want to get my shit done and I don't want to do it in a crowd. See that right there? Dave gets the Dave spot. The easy in. The easy out, underneath the shade tree. The whole objective of being here early. Well, if y'all ain't from around here, the state of Florida, I don't know what the whole, I don't know every detail about it, but we're not allowed to keep red snapper because the federal government or the state I'll collude or something and they say there's none out there well everybody says there's tons so they throw fishermen recreational fishermen we get thrown a bone okay a three-day weekend or a Friday Saturday Sunday twice in the month of August what they're going to do usually is give you the shittiest, hottest, hottest month. That's how it ends up working. Uh, everybody says there's tons of red snapper out there. And um, we're allowed, you're allowed one fish per person. Um, 
and one fish per person any size so you can go out and catch any red snapper you want and then turn around come in throw them in your truck turn around go back out if you really want it so that's what the hubbub is I personally cannot wait until summer damn until summer is completely over when football and uh, hunting starts this will all be over they're really starting to pour in that's the reason I'm here early I know it's difficult to see but since I parked about eight to ten boats have pulled in and it's getting to be just what I thought all right do you remember when I got here what the parking lot looked like absolutely unbelievable this is just this is just like the kingfish tournament where I did that video except this is even worse this is almost worse absolute craziness to go out and catch one snapper but this is incredible folks Friday first day of snapper season one fish per person any size all right, go park down the street. Man, dude. Ooh, man. Nice, beautiful Dodge Dooley. Hey, it's like going to a boat and trailer show. This is called basically too many people wanting to go snapper fishing. pink sky in the morning pink sky in the morning mariners take warning pink sky at night sailors delight oh my customers are here day two of red snapper lunacy look where these people are parked All the way away from the boat ramp. I guess they're charging to park in here. Private property. Look at all this. Look at this parking lot, folks. We're not even in the parking lot. We're not even near the boat ramp yet. Oh my god. Red snapper. Lunacy. Yeah, try to find a parking spot, dude. Here it is in the daylight, folks. And, of course, Sunday I've got a charter. Here it is. This is the daylight. Red snapper lunacy. I'm off. I took, I'm not fishing on Saturday. Yep, everybody's looking for a parking spot. There ain't none, dude. When you show up this late, you are screwed, buddy. I'll show you something that's absolutely amazing here in a second. And you know the real bad thing about it is I gotta put up with this again next weekend. I gotta be at the boat ramp super early because it's next Friday and Saturday too. Well, I'll tell you, next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, if somebody wants to go, I am charging more. My day was approximately 15 to 16 hours yesterday. 
here's what some people are trying to do to avoid, I guess, the boat ramp circle jerk. I'll show you something. Look at this. Now we're, we're two miles down the river. And look at this. There's people right there. The trucks and trailers. They're putting their, their they're putting their boats in. On, they're putting their boats in off of the beach at the little jetties. That's where they're putting their boats in and out. I mean, today I had to get baited up. I got to get iced up. And I got to get some fuel for tomorrow, which is Sunday. And then Monday I got to take some kids out. It's the Trump economy, folks. Make America great again. Everything eats a shrimp. Everything eats a shrimp. Sharks eat a shrimp. Almost everything will eat a shrimp. Shrimp. It's what's for supper. Here we go. Filling up with ethanol free. Yes, ethanol free. At $3.10 a gallon. Better fuel economy, less problems, I guess. It's working for me. Eighteen gallons. Top off the tank. You know what's so cool? You pull into a gas station like that, and I'm sitting there pumping my non-ethanol fuel. Uh, an older guy, 72 years old, pulls up behind me, and we start shooting the breeze. And he grew up on Mill Cove. And, uh, yeah, we start talking about Mill Cove. And he starts telling me about the way it was when he was a kid. And you just learn so much from other people just having a casual conversation sometimes. And this is how we put the gas in the boat, the gas in the boat, the gas in the boat. With the big six gallon gas can and a siphon tube. So I don't have to trailer to the gas station just to do a top off because unfortunately there's no gas stations between my house and the boat ramp so this is how I do it hear it siphon tube and by the way I'm loving my little giant yeah, baby. Boom, 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 boom. Right in. Little giant. It's working great. Four-step little giant.